Hi, my name's Jamie Phillip. I'm 17 years old and I go to Manidor High School and I'm going to find out what it takes to be a quarry worker. First stop for Jamie is one of four quarries owned by HG Leaching Company. G'day, Jamie. Dean Torsten's an HG Leaching Company. Um, a little bit skinny for a bloody quarry worker. <laughs> we'll see what we can do for you. Oh, cheers. OK, Jamie, let's get this makeover underway. Hard hat for your head. A pair of overalls to keep you clean. Nice high-vis shirt to make sure that you don't get run over because I don't want to clean the mess up after you. Crikey, mate, that was quick. Right, let's get out amongst it and see what it's all about. Without the rock from quarries, we'd have no roads or buildings. There's a massive demand for aggregate, and every year, 11 tonnes or one truckload of it is used for every man, woman and child in New Zealand. The red represents what we're currently extracting. The blue is an overburden, which is a material that we don't use. It's not suitable for extraction, um, but it still has to be removed to give us access to, to the rock below. After you've dug out all the rock and stuff, do you guys just leave it as a big hole? No, no, as you can see, we've actually got a landfill operating directly in behind us. So in time, what we'll have here is a hill as opposed to a, a bare hole. But for now, the hole grows with over 400 tonnes extracted every day. You fancy a go on that digger? Oh, yeah? You sure? Come on, then. Let's go. Our guys can multitask to the point where they can operate loaders, they can operate the trucks, they're familiar with the crushing plant, the maintenance of that equipment, even down to the diggers and bulldozers. So they get a huge variety. Now, engage that, mate. Yeah, now she's ready to rock and roll, OK? OK. OK, mate. For a start, what you can do is just pull that arm back. The, the motor will rev itself. Yeah. OK, mate, now this is the motion you want to go for. You want to go down and then you want to pull back and curl at the same time. OK. OK. <laughs> oh, man, it feels like it's a bit scary, eh, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. You're control of a big metal object. What we look for in a new employee is someone that's got a bit of enthusiasm, someone that's, that's not too afraid to get dirty. You've got to have a bit of a, a good mechanical aptitude. Very, very similar to um, playing PlayStation, mate. What I've found in this industry so far is that people that are good with playing Computer games are normally good operators. Oh, I should have no worries then. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And another one is a team fit, is, is what we look for too, which is very important. Here you go, mate. Excellent. Easy. Excellent. Jamie? Nice, mate. Looks like you got a future. <laughs> <laughs> future in this business. But for now, Jamie got to do what would be the envy of his mates. Jeez, I don't know. I don't know if they'll believe me, you know? Controlling a big digger like that, uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was really amazing, you know? Just, um, so you can just feel the, the power of it, you know, you're picking up the rocks and everything and you can feel the machine shaking around and, yeah, it was, it was awesome. Winding up the second year of his on-the-job modern apprenticeship, Corbin is manning the machines, processing the very aggregate which Jamie dug up. This is the control panel for the bottom fixed plant. Number one feeder controls the number one bin over there and brings the rocks down to your number two bin. Then it goes along your belt, up to your AP screen, the screen separates uh, oversized metal from the correct size metal. You know, what's your, what's your favourite part of this job? What do you like doing? Uh, that would be operating the machines. Yeah, probably the loader. Yeah. The final product finds itself separated into neat little mountains of metal, each graded by size and quality, each destined for various uses from roading to building to concreting. So it's worth quite a bit? Yes, very much so. And uh, how much for this handful here? <laughs> for you, mate, because you've done such a good job today, it's free. Awesome. Take it home with you. <laughs> so did you get much satisfaction out of your job? Mate, love it. Absolutely love it. Good team environment to work in. Everybody chips in, does the same. Everybody helps each other out. Um, you will not get a better, better industry to be in. And uh, what's the go of this thing here? Do you uh, drive these? Do you want to have a go? You sure? Come on, mate. Let's have a look. Mate, you're taking it down the road, just a couple of k's down. Leave you to it, eh? All the best. Cheers. Good to meet you. But Jamie's play date with the big boys toys is not over yet. He's paying a visit to the McDonald's quarry, which specialises in lime. And today, everyone's counting down to one hell of a bang. So what we're standing on here, is this all going to be exploded? It is. Um, this rock here for today, um, the area that we're blasting is going to equate to approximately 27,000 tonne of rock. This won't be here in 10 minutes' time. To, to do that, we are actually using 3.5 tonne of explosives in the ground. Darcy started out at the bottom as a machine driver and worked his way up. 
He's now quarry manager and in charge of 15 men and millions of dollars of machinery. That detonator there yep. is what we call a category eight. It will blow your hand off, okay? So we poke it down through there. Push it right through, grab the rubber, put it back up, and it locks. Can't go any further, okay? So we lower that into the hole, holding it all the time so you've got control. You'll feel it hit the bottom. So from there, we will um, let them load with explosives and we'll come and put the surface delays on, okay? Whilst the finishing touches are made on what will look like Guy Fawkes on steroids... See, we got some new pamphlets through from, um, from Exciter on uh, Modern Apprenticeship. Oh, OK. Jamie can catch up with Exciter Assessor Ray and Modern Apprentice Luke as they pack the end product. So how many tonnes of this stuff you do in a day? 70. 70 tonnes a day. <laughs> You're having me on, mate. <laughs> yeah, what's your, what's your, what's the best part of your job? The people who work here, mate. Yeah, yeah. Great bunch of guys. <laughs> Today we're initiating the shot with our remote control system. The reason we're using the remote control system is uh, for safety, and safety is paramount in the quarry. Yep. And we have the remote system, which pulls apart and screws together. And you can stand up to one kilometre away with this remote system. OK. And do you enjoy your job? I love it. I love it. We've got customers right throughout New Zealand. And as I say, if you're into a good explosion and a, a lot of travelling, it's a brilliant job to be in. And how would you like to try and fire this remote system today? Are you serious? Yep. There's no worries, I'll talk you through it. Awesome. From packing bags to packing explosives, there's no doubt about it. Jamie's having an action-packed day. So now what we'll do is press both buttons, keep that one pressed down and press that one down, and the shot will go off. Bang. Man, that was crazy. You can feel, feel the ripple, you know, through your body. Yeah, feel the shock waves coming out. It's called an air blast. It's called an air blast when you feel the shock wave. That's awesome. Yeah, that's cool. That's what we do every day. So did our boy Jamie blow it or have a blast? Uh, Jamie did very well. Uh, take him up for the blasting, the explosives. It looked like a kid with fireworks, so <laughs> that was great. Jamie, give me a call, mate. I'm more than happy to take you on board. It's definitely been worth it, eh? I really recommend this for anyone else looking to go for, for a job in uh, quarrying. It's truly really awesome. To become a quarry worker, you should be reasonably fit and strong with a liking for working outdoors. It also helps to have a mechanical interest and be able to work as part of a team. You need to be over 16 and school certificate or NCEA equivalent English and maths are useful. Almost all skills are learnt on the job and further education and training is available through the Extractive Industries Training Organisation. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.